Hey guys, so I recently upgraded my i7 base 2018 MacBook Pro 555X graphics to a Vega 20 i9 2019 model MacBook Pro. And I got some things I need to tell you because I kind of have some regrets. I feel like I made the wrong choice. First things first, regarding the form sort of Vega 20 beast, it is a beast. Fortnite, it goes twice as fast on the FPS than my old little 2018 baby. FPS wise, we're getting 40 frames a second over here running around and on the 555x we're getting 19 frames a second and let's run around here 19 frames a second twice as fast Unreal Engine yeah around 20% faster graphics there so on the left we're getting 19 and on the right we're getting 22 23 on the right and 20 on the left Final Cut Pro, when I have projects loaded with rendering effects, it goes around 60% faster. So this is a rendering heavy project. It's got 16 effects. As you can see on the right, the Vega 20 is clearly performing a lot faster than the 555X. And this is the rendering speed at the same time. Control Shift R, Control Shift R, 3, 2, 1, go. So we are rendering out these clips at the same time. We're going to find out which one finishes first. Now it does include CPU and all that kind of stuff, but graphics it is really good. However, there are some negatives, my friends. No one tells you this stuff, but first and first of all, the fans. It is noisy AF. And it's not just the fan speed. It is actually, I don't know, they changed the size of the fans, I believe, because the, the, the sound of it is, is deeper. So it's not just faster fans you get, but it's a deep sound and it's more echoey. And for me, according to my wife's ear, it is around 40, 40, 40% 40 louder than the fans in the non-Vega models. I tested out 2019 earlier, non-Vega, and it was about the same as 2018, whereas the Vega ones is about 40% louder. I'm honest with you, it is so loud. I have to ramp down the fan to around 5,000 RPMs for it to sound like it is max on the 555X. So to my ears, the fans sound around the same when the 555X goes at 5,900 RPMs and the Vega 20 goes at 5,000 RPMs. All right, that was the noise levels of the actual fans when you're just using the CPU. And uh, I haven't showed you energy usage yet, but I'm gonna get into that in a bit. But for now, I wanna show you the actual graphics difference. Around 40 seconds into the playback, the fans on the Vega 20 have ramped up already to 4,000 RPM. Now it's time for you to take a listen because the 555X, it is silent AF still only going at 2,100 RPMs, whereas the Vega 20, it has hit 6,000 RPMs after around two and a half minutes of playback. It does run faster, but it comes at a cost of noise levels. So the fans are noisy AF. Secondly, power draw. When you use the computer with nothing plugged in, you have just about enough power to keep it afloat. The power adapter gives you just enough juice to keep it going. As soon as you plug in an external monitor and do something heavy, intensive on the CPU, it starts draining battery power. And if you look at the power usage of the 555X, we can see it's using around at most 32 watts, whereas the Vega 20, well, it's going all the way up to 50 watts of power usage. And what that means for the battery is it's actually losing 16 milliamps of power while you're using the Vega 20. So if we kept this running at this rate, our battery life would be gone. I've only had this unit around five days and I've already used up 10 cycles. I didn't know it was doing this overnight when I left it doing some encoding. I woke up to find this mess. So initially, I left my laptop encoding videos overnight, and as you can see, look at that drainage all the way down to 5%, then it shoots up, goes down again, shoots up, and it goes down again and shoots up. 
This time round, I set the fan speeds maximum to 5,500 RPMs and it drained at a slower rate, but it was still draining. So it went from 100% all the way down to 82% in a couple of hours. At this very moment, I've set the maximum fan speed to 4,900 RPMs. And you can see it says not charging, but uh, if I look at it, it's it's actually okay, it's not charging. It charges a little bit and then it discharges a little bit. So I need to just reduce my fan speed. So now that I've set my fan speed to 4,000 RPMs, you can see that my CPU has clocked all the way down to 2.1, 2.2 gigahertz, round about here, all the way down from three gigahertz earlier today and my battery is finally charging with 500 milliamps and it's gonna take eight hours to get that 15%. And that's just with an SSD external monitor and 10 gigabit ethernet adapter plugged in, which I had no problems with before on my last generation MacBook Pro. So if you're the kind of person that has, a, that has an ethernet adapter plugged in, an SSD adapter plugged in, USB devices plugged in, don't use your computer as fast as it can go. Just that's what you have to do with the Vega 20 edition. I don't know if it's a 2019 thing. I'm gonna have to find out because I think I made a big mistake getting this Vega 20 version because it's just way too noisy. But yeah, just be aware of that. There is a solution out there for you and I had to do some sort of hacking to get it around working. Power levels are directly correlated with the fan speed. So if you do ramp down the fans, for example, if I ramp down the fans to 5,000 RPMs off of its 6,000 RPMs, it does clock down the CPU which means it uses less power, which means it doesn't drain from the battery. So if you want to ensure that your battery life is safe, make sure you don't let your fans go over. Um, I used an open source project called SMC Fan Control and I had to do a bit of hacking because it doesn't actually set a maximum fan limit. So if you wanna know how I did that, let me know and I'll post a how-to guide video on my coding channel, Xcreate, and uh, share and spread the knowledge. Hope you found this useful. Yes, it is faster twice as fast on Fortnite FPS. Yes, it's faster if you're doing heavy rendering effects. If you're not doing heavy rendering effects, then it's not that much faster. And of course, if you have an eGPU, my Vega 64 and my Radeon 7 are twice as fast than the Radeon 20. So if you have an eGPU, it kind of negates the need for it. But be aware, fan noise city, here I come, and power draw, be aware of that. I have submitted a bug report to Apple. Hopefully, they'll listen to me and they'll fix it. Fingers crossed. If you run into that same issue, please submit a bug report. It's called Feedback Assistant. Just send them what you can and they'll hopefully fix it. But for now, just be aware of that. Hope you found it useful and stay tuned because I guess, unfortunately, I think I might have to uh, downgrade it to the 560X model because it's just it's too noisy for my delicate little ears. Enjoy your life. Take care. Just doing some final cut. MacBook Pro 2020.